Hey guys, welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management Channel on YouTube. I hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. In today's video, I wanted to jump in and, and see how much money I've made off a $100 investment and I've swing traded over the past pretty much two months. So we're going to be breaking this down in pretty much the most recent swing trade that I'm currently in. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of it, hit that like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. So let's jump into it. So let's see how much money I've made off $100 from swing trading. Drum roll, please. It's a whopping three hundred and nineteen dollars so about 219 i've made off swing trades which is which is decent and you guys will notice the most recent swing trade right now that i'm in is in google i have about three shares i'm up about nine percent i'm planning on taking profits right here when this is about 25 dollars. i see there's a little more opportunity but let's jump in and see and look at this uh trade here so you'll notice what we've seen from google is it's had this beautiful beautiful upward trend and over the past couple of months, every, pretty much ever since uh, January, the stock has slowly stair-stepped its way down, gone from about $151 all the way down here to uh, to lows actually at about 85 bucks a share. And if we actually draw this trend line, you'll see just how crazy and drastic that uh, trend is is and how much sell-off we've seen from it if we go to the 10 minute chart i want to show you guys kind of what we've seen over the past day where the stock has gone from 87 all the way up to 96 dollars a share which is which is absolutely crazy it's gone up ten dollars um pretty much for each share you have which is awesome right and the reason why we've seen so much buying pressure is because the general market right now is actually doing very 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 well we we saw pretty much a record breaking day last week where the stock market was up about three and a half percent so almost every single stock right now is getting bought up like crazy that's the one of one of the benefits right of buying during these dips in the market is sometimes you have days like this, but on the flip side, you have days where it sells off. But the reason why I bought into, I bought into uh, Google here, if we go ahead and we zoom in, you'll notice that this thing tanked. It went from this $105 mark all the way down to 83 bucks. And if we go ahead and we look at this RSI line, the RSI line, it's called the relative strength index. It pretty much determines if a stock's overvalued, undervalued, or anything like that. And you'll notice right here was at a 32. The last time, right, it was at a 32 was all the way back, pretty much not even in here. We This here was at 36 and we saw buying pressure. We saw another one here at 39 that saw buying pressure. But what I'm trying to say is we saw just a crazy amount of, of sell-off in such a short amount of time. You'll notice the last time was actually all the way down in here. And you'll notice it sold off and immediately got bought back up. I was thinking we're going to have a very similar situation here with Google. One of the benefits of Google is it's one of the most popular stocks out there. It has $112 billion sitting in cash. The the That's the benefit, right? It, it does very, very well. The issue we face is their last earnings did not go as well. So there is more sellers right now in control of the stock, which has caused some of the sell-off. But the beauty of it, is I, I honestly believe we're going to see this thing push past this $100 point, And that's where I'm planning on most likely taking my profits. That's going to give me about a 12% return on this trade. And if we actually go and we see where I bought, do, 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 order management, you'll notice I actually bought in right here, right on that confirmation of that reversal here coming back up. That was my mindset going into it, you'll notice. Um, now, I like I said, I plan on selling at this resistance at around 100 bucks because that's where we have that tendency to just get a little more volatility here. You'll notice I've taken swing trades on Google in the past, trade here, sold it there. Textbook trades, you, you can never lose, you, you can never... You can never be discouraged with yourself if you just take your profits, right? And that's what I always have to tell myself. So in situations like this, where we saw it squeeze up, I'm, I'm not upset or mad. I'm happy that I've 
that I made a profit, right? So how do we find stocks? That's one of the most important things that everybody asks me. So I wanna, I wanna jump in. So what I do is I go to finvez.com. Finvez is a free scanning service that allows you to scan all the stocks out there. What we do is we, we keep an eye on channel up. This is very, very important because what we'll see here is stocks that are moving up but have most likely gotten some sell off. So WWE, we'll go ahead and we'll pull it up. WWE, boom, boom, boom. Um, you'll notice beautiful upward trend. We've gotten some sell off. So there could be a trade, right? Let me go ahead and uh, get this vertical or this horizontal line here. So there could be a trade from 75 to $79. We've gotten sell off. It's very undervalued on the RSI. Just a lot of opportunity. And we continue to do this and we find stocks that work and work very, very well. Another way is go to the screener, go to all, um, and then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to pattern, and then we're gonna go channel up or channel up strong. And what this does is it finds all those stocks that are moving up. So then what we wanna do is go to relative volume over 0.5, this is just, oh, not under 0.5, excuse me, over 0.5. And then what this is, is this is pretty much just the overall demand for for these stocks. You want people buying. And with buying pressure, you want volume. So we'll go over 500,000. And you'll see we got 12, you know, we got 12 stock right here. Boom, boom. Click charts and just analyze these charts. And the beauty, you know, something like EBR looks very interesting because B E B R. Whoops. EBR because we have that beautiful upward trend. We have we have some heavy resistance, you know, support and resistance lines. Let's go ahead and draw those out so you guys can see them. We have resistance here. You'll notice selling pressure, boom, boom, and then we want to draw out buying pressure. So some buying pressure starts stepping in at seven, pretty much here at about seven ninety five. You'll notice just textbook swing trades. This is what we look for: buy as close as we can to the support. The, the farther away you buy from the support, the, the more riskier the stock is going to get. But on the flip side, if it re, you know rebounds and starts getting some buying pressure, you do make some money. Something like this where it gaps down, there could be a gap to fill there as well. So there's just a lot of opportunities. Continue and go through stocks, find stocks that work well for you. And the beauty with swing trading is you don't have to trade. That's what a lot of people don't realize is just because you see people online posting videos of, you know, people swing trading, making money, does not mean you have to, right? If you don't see an opportunity that works well for you, don't do it. So guys, that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Remember to stay happy, guys. Stay positive and take care.